Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricutology.blogspot.com and today I'm making a birthday card, another mail card actually, <laughs> for my father-in-law. His birthday is coming up very, very quickly here and my husband reminded me of that this morning so I need to make him a card. So he's kind of a nature outdoors kind of a guy. So my husband suggested, you know, something with mountains or trees or something like that. So Give a Hoot cartridge came right to my mind. So I got the mountains. This is from the border feature. And the grass is also from the border feature from Give a Hoot. And I adjusted it, though. Um, I wanted it to be six inches long, but then I wanted it to be three inches high. So I unlinked the width and the height and I I would love to be able to do this but I usually just get too much glare but if you see here you unlink that and that way you're able to adjust the width and the height to whatever you wish um, which I absolutely love that about the gypsy so anyway I am um, on the wrong layer that's why I can't so see if you can see there, it's probably too blurry, but it's six inches wide and three inches high. And you can see that the little link is not um, lit up. And then I got the grass from the border and did the same thing because I wanted it to be shorter. And then the tree was cut at um, three inches high. Okay, so, and then all my papers are scraps. I know this was from a DCWV pack, but I'm not sure which one, and so is this. Same pack, they coordinate. And then a blue piece of paper from a Joann's pack of paper. Okay? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress this piece with this distressing tool from close to my heart. You can get these anywhere, though. Even Michaels and Joann carries these distressing tools. Okay, and I was going to round the corners, but I thought, you know, it's a mail cart, so let's just distress it. Okay, messy. All right, then I'm going to take old paper and just my little sponge that I got, a piece of my sponge, my 10-pack sponge that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to... And you could do this probably with any, you could do this with any ink pad that you have. Okay. And then that's going to go there. And then I've already done this to the grass piece. And even this kind of charcoal -y piece, if you look really closely, you can see the distressing on it and it does have a white core so I'm just kind of hiding that a little bit all right okay now oops there was my grass Okay, I am going to, I'm looking for my crimper. This crimper is old. I've had it for a long time. I got, this was a Joann's brand that I got a long time ago. It was so inexpensive and I wish they still carried it because it works just fine. And um, there you can see that now it's shorter. <laughs> So I'm just going to stretch it and then I want this to be the same width as my pattern paper. I think what I'll do, I want that blue showing on the, okay, so let's go ahead. I wanted the blue outline of the paper in the background. I'm just going to use my ATG to attach 
the brass. There's a little bit there, but it just rubs off. really want to attach this first because I want to trim the sides because <clears throat> I could have really done the width to whatever this is five and a quarter but I didn't do that There's another piece, a little bit of glue that needs to be rubbed off. Okay. So now I can turn this over. It's not even straight. Okay. And then just trim off the excess on each side. Go ahead and attach that. And then our little tree is going to go right there. And I want some dimension on that. <clears throat> these I gotta go buy some fun foam I like my homemade dimensionals because they're not as thick as these I just use fun foam and my um, Xyron little sticker maker to do that Simple card. And then I'm using the Birthday Wishes stamp from Scrappy Mom Simple Sentiments. And I'm going to use the Timber Brown Stays On. So I want it to be really dark. And I think I'll <clears throat> line it up right here. So that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.